Hi, this is Ben with MakeUseOf.com, and today I'm going to show you a few easy ways to remove bloatware from Windows 10. Now, as you probably know, bloatware refers to programs that come on a computer that you don't really want. Uh, typically, they don't really do much, or they just duplicate built-in features. Now, on a Windows machine, typically you'll see bloatware from a manufacturer. Uh, for example, if you buy your computer from Dell, uh, you'll have Dell software that you probably don't want and can remove. But in Windows 10, uh, the default installation, no matter where you get your computer from, uh, packs in a lot of apps that you probably don't want. Thankfully, they're pretty easy to remove. So the easiest way to remove bloatware is just from your start menu. So just click on your start button or hit the start key on your computer keyboard and you'll be able to see all the apps on your computer. Now as you scroll through you'll see both typical desktop software that you've installed like maybe Chrome as well as Windows modern apps. And you'll see these kind of based on their uh, flat imagery and, and uh, square background. So we have like Feedback Hub here, Groove Music, these are all modern apps. So when you find one you want to get rid of, you can go ahead and right click on it and you will perhaps see an uninstall button and you might not. Now you can't uninstall every Windows 10 app uh, through this menu. We'll look at other methods in a few minutes to do that. Uh, so we look at like mail here, uh, you can't do that. Uh, Groove Music, none of these are actually able to be uninstalled from the start menu. Looks like Feedback Hub is. So if you want to get rid of one from here, just right click it and choose uninstall. Note that this is your list of apps on the left side. Over here on the right side is your start menu tiles. So this lets you add kind of widgets for quick access. If you're able to uninstall one of these apps from here, you can also right click say weather. You have options, but you also have the uninstall option. So that's the most basic way, but there are some other methods that give you some more control. The next way is to open up the Windows 10 settings menu. And from here you can open up the apps panel. On the Apps and Features tab, give it a minute and it will load all the apps on your computer. Now like the list before, this is apps that you've installed, like desktop apps, as well as Windows 10 modern apps. So let's search for an app, say like Movies and TV, if I can spell properly. And it'll search through everything that you have on your computer. If you click on the app, you can choose Uninstall if it's available, uh, like some, like this for example, it's not available. So we're not going to be able to use that. Uh, but if it is available, you'll see the uninstall button glow, and you can use it to get rid of any app you want. Now, for apps that don't show up uh, able to be installed in that way, you can use a different method, and that's using CCleaner. So we've talked before about how CCleaner is a really useful utility for cleaning junk programs out of your computer, but it has a couple extra tools, too. So you can install CCleaner if you don't have it already, and then once you do, open up the Tools tab on the left and choose the Uninstall option. From here, again, you'll see all the apps on your computer, but this time you'll be able to uninstall other ones, not just the ones that Microsoft wants to let you uninstall. So if we come here, we can go to News or Movies and TV. Up here, you'll see the Uninstall button. If you click it, you'll get a warning to make sure you really want to uninstall it. Go ahead and click OK, and you'll be able to remove it. So CCleaner is the best option if, for whatever reason, the built-in uninstaller in Windows just won't work. Um, this is a, a way to do that, and it'll, it should get rid of anything that you want. Note that you still can't get rid of apps like Microsoft Edge or Cortana that are part of Windows. Um, you could do a really deep dive to get rid of them if you wanted to, but it would probably cause more problems than it's worth, so we don't recommend it. The final method that you can use is a, the geekiest method, and it's through PowerShell. So if you're not familiar, Windows PowerShell is a, a command line interface, sort of like the command prompts, but it has a lot more features and it can do a lot more uh, with easier commands. So to open that, you can just right click on your start button and choose PowerShell. Uh, I, I have the command prompt selected, so if you do too, you can just type in PowerShell to search for it. Go ahead and open it up. and then. It will be too much to list here, so if you just go over to the linked article in the description, you'll see a list of a ton of apps that you can remove. It's, it's a big pile of apps here, but you'll see this basic format of get AppX package, listing the name, and then removing it. And this just triggers the uninstall option, but importantly, it will work for all apps, not just ones that Microsoft wants you to be able to uninstall like we saw earlier. So for example, this uh, Zune Music is Groove Music. Um, so we can uninstall that if we just paste that in, we hit enter, we should get a little operation, zoom music, and then it'll say initialize processing, boom, it's gone, and then the music app is going to be no longer on the computer. So that is how you remove uh, bloatware from Windows 10, so you can copy and paste all these in, you can do just one or two if you want to get rid of them, if you're comfortable with the command line, uh, otherwise we definitely recommend uh, the CCleaner method for getting rid of apps that the settings app won't let you get rid of. And just note that 
because of Windows 10's uh, twice yearly update model, you'll probably see these apps come back um, even after you remove them. So if you remove them in this update, whenever Microsoft publishes their next update in the fall or whatever, you'll probably see a lot of these apps come back and you'll have to remove them again. So it's a little bit of whack-a-mole with Windows 10, uh, but overall it's not really hard to remove these. They don't take up a ton of space and they don't pop up with a bunch of annoying stuff. So it's more about just getting rid of this, the software that you don't want on your computer um, and making it a little bit easier to use for you and cleaner. So we hope you enjoyed this article. If you did, please leave us a like and subscribe to make you subs YouTube channel for more tips like this, as well as reviews and giveaways of the latest tech. And we'll see you in the next video.